Gates fly open. They're off and they're racing. The first to get going, none so spicy. Magnique was away well. And also up there soon after the start, Cypress Mountain lobbing into a lovely spot. Being followed by Great Edition outside of it is Tactics and further back to Boudoir Bell. Ray Source couldn't hold up there, dropping right back. And towards the tail, Hyder Gwai. And back last on the rails is Maynac. They've left the 600 behind them. None so spicy, led by three quarters over the favourite, Magnique. On the rails then, Cypress Mountain. Out in third in a pocket at the moment from Tactics, which has been able to get across. A length and a half off those, then Great Edition and Boudoir Bell, followed by Hyder Gwai, then came Ray Source, Maynac, Homeward Bound, None So Spicy, the leader, about to be tested by Magnique at the 200, None So Spicy responding, None So Spicy holding Magnique, None So Spicy about a length and a half and drawing away from Magnique Tactics and None So Spicy, too good for them, None So Spicy, one under the hand Hands and heels of Pike from Magnique. Third tactics running on great addition. Hyder Gwai and Ray Source. Wider out is Main Act. Followed further back by Cypress Mountain and dropping out to finish it near the tail end of the field. Great addition. Number 11 is the winner. None so spicy. 11 first, none so spicy. So the first leader wins. On a day where horses off pace have been able to really have an impact, but none so spicy does it from the front. Willie Pike getting on board, and the gingerbread man filly has taken out race number four on the card, posting her first win at just her third lifetime start. She was able to comfortably hold the favourite Magnique, and back third is Tactics. The numbers are 11814. Ray's source in that blanket go finishes fourth in front of uh, Great Edition and also Haida Gwai. 5895 is the time. Home in 3408. A length one and three quarters are the margins there after the running of race number four. The fifth event today, the Ascend Trophies handicap is over 1,800 metres. They'll go at 238. And there are no changes. Lockie Taylor is about to join us as Willie Pike turns none so spicy back around and heads back with the others towards the yard. He nursed and just cajoled this filly and uh, really didn't want to test her with a shillelagh. And he just pushed her out in that inimitable Pike style, hands and heels, bustling hard. And she delivered a very good win, holding off the favourite, Magnique by Magnus, trained by Simon Miller, Stephen Parnham aboard, and Tactics, who got across soon after the start for Brad Parnham. Neville Parnham prepares a Rommel three-year-old out of Delectable Dolly. OK, that was the tale of the fourth event this afternoon as we head now to Lockie, and uh, we'll go to the enclosure as Pike still makes his way back here with None So Spicy. Thanks, Darren. The speedy filly breaks maiden status in her third career start. A family that the Daly family know oh so well. Out of theirs, Nunso Sassy and the family have just been speed on speed on speed. And that's exactly what Nunso Spicy does to salute. As we now turn our attention to the third at Bunbury, the Trevor Roach Memorial maiden over 1,400 metres. Riley, what do you like in the third? Me, Lockie, in siding with this horse that'll slide across to park right over the speed in universal hotness, who's bursting to win a race. He keeps drawing wide, but this is weaker than his past two that he has contested, and I think if Alex Hearn can get him across from the barrier, he's going to prove very hard to run down. From the 13, the big danger, I thought it looked Mar Mar Bell, who's likely to settle back off the speed and hope there's some pressure up in front. She was very well backed on debut. She was held up until very late, but once she got out, she hit the line super into second behind Belter of a Song, beaten under a couple of lengths, so subsequently bolted in at class one level to frank that form. She'll need a good steer from the barrier, but it was a very promising debut and thinks she's a nice filly. So one and 13 from the two, Latroy and three, authoritative in for third and fourth, but number one on top for me, Universal Hotness Lockie with number 13, Mama Bell, the danger. Riley's with your favourite at $1.50 in the third at Bunbury. Here's Richie Bell for the call.